because my goal was too strong to feel sorry for myself. My goal was too strong to feed into the environment or the criticism that people had of me. Not everybody gonna see your vision. When you look at the camera, right? That camera only got one, on the, on, on, only one person can look into that camera. Not everybody can look into that camera because only you can see that vision. When a photographer taking your picture or, or, or a videographer, you know, doing your shoot, you don't see everybody looking to that one lens because everybody can't catch the same angle as you. Everybody can't capture the same vision as you. They, that photographer got a vision in mind. That's why you take your picture, it's crispy clean. Now everybody can do the same thing. You gotta have that same single lens and understand that I'm gonna sit right here, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a rough draft picture, but I'm gonna make it crispy clean. I'm gonna worry about the edges. I'm gonna persevere through every heartbreak, every failure, every every time somebody didn't, didn't doubt me, every time somebody didn't believe in me. That's that's all in the pool of perseverance. Welcome, y'all. This is Mr. Triple H himself, aka Mr. His Healthy Habits, and we're here today for our Manifestation Mondays edition. And I have the one and only, the inspirational speaker, the motivational speaker, the life coach, Mr. Anthony Qualls himself. It is an honor to introduce Mr. Anthony Qualls to the world. Y'all stay tuned, this man is gonna blow up. He's the next big thing and I'm excited to be able to feature him on the channel. And make sure y'all check us out every Monday for Manifestation Monday, and today we're talking about perseverance. What's good, Ant? What's good? What's good, man? Hey, I'm glad to be on here, uh, man. Like I said, yeah, life coach motivator. You know, I use my my life struggles as a story to motivate others. Um, but yeah, perseverance, man. Perseverance is a good topic because um, the reason why the first thing I do want to say is with perseverance, um, I feel like there's a fear to persevere, right? Perseverance is is more of a it's more of you going through a struggle. It's not too much of the end result. Um, for example, right, I can take it back, you know, to my childhood. You know, being being a young kid, you know, losing my pops at 13, uh, four four days before before my 14th birthday. Uh, the perseverance wasn't the fact that I was able to still grow up and be, you know, a good young man or a good man I am in today. The perseverance was not having a father figure in the household no more. The perseverance was not being able to to have a, a role model that's right by my side. So the struggles that we go through is what defined us and what creates us. Uh, so when, when you persevere through something, you got to understand that that persevering is what's making your story at that point right now. When you read a book, right, you can read chapter one, you can read chapter two. But if you're not getting the ingredients on why chapter one is connecting the two, three, and four, you're not understanding the end result at the end of the book. All right, everybody wants the conclusion of a story, but they don't want to go through the ingredients to make a whole book. That's a perseverance coming to play. Um, the struggles that you go through day in and day out is going to test you on how bad you want to achieve whatever it is. If you want to be great, you got to get tested. If you don't want to get tested, then you don't understand the concept of perseverance. Perseverance is willpower. Perseverance is you sitting right there saying that, all right, although this struggle is hard, although everything I probably got stripped away from me right now, you, you could be dead broke. How are you going to persevere? You know, you could, you, could, you could lose a loved one. How are you going to persevere? You could have got fired from your job. How are you going to persevere? That's when it really going to test you to see how bad do you really want whatever your mindset on. Because if you really want something, you got to go through hell and hot water. That's how it's going to get tested. From my childhood, not, not, not only that, I can, I can take a, 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 few, a few more years back. Uh, man, I grew up in an apartment. It was, it was uh, with a three-bedroom apartment, 15 of us. I had to persevere through that. I had to understand that struggle that I was going through at the time frame. I could easily fall into my environment and get settled and get complacent and be a statistic. But at the same time, I have to understand the ball game that I was playing. Perseverance is what allowed me to understand that, no, I'm different than what my peers are around me. Perseverance taught me how to be able to learn and value education because I wasn't a taller person to rely on sports. 
that's that, that's gonna take me to the next to the next step. Perseverance would allow me that although as a kid I might not have all the gizmos and gadgets, if I can able to persevere through this situation, I can be the person I want to be with in my life. That's why perseverance is so value. It makes you tough. You know, it's, it's, it's going to strengthen your weaknesses. It's going to better you to, in order for you to be the person that you need to be successful because your perseverance is your leadership. Your perseverance is your character. Our, a weak-minded person is not going to have that much perseverance because they don't know how to fall down and get back up. When you slip and fall, the first thing you do you slip and fall, you take one step at a time. Same thing with life. Stuff going to make you fall at times. It's going to buck you down to your knees. But that perseverance is going to allow you to take one step at a time. But that's not saying that that, that first step you take is going to get you right back up. You can take that first step and fall right down again. But you got to know that if I can endure this perseverance, if I can endure the hardships that I'm going through right now, if I can overcome the struggles, if I can overcome the hardships that I'm facing right now, I'm able to achieve that goal. Like recently, car got stripped away from me. True story. Whole car. I got a whole battle of perseverance I got to go through right now. I could easily fall into defeat and be like, no, what I'm done. I don't got to do nothing else no more. I can cry about it all day long. I can mope about it. I can sing a lullaby about it. I can tell everybody how, how, to, how everything just went. No, I got, I got a, a different battle of perseverance that I have to learn. Perseverance don't mean that all because you overcame one thing, life is all peaches and cream. No, it teaches you how to overcome the next step. You just get stronger and better every time you overcome something. It's a step to it. The more you can persevere every single thing you go through in your life, is the more you can handle the hardships. It's the more you can handle those backstabbers. It's the more you can handle the talkbacks. It's the more you can handle people not believing in you. That's all about perseverance. You got to be, you got to be strong mind and strong will and whatever you believe in. You know, everything's not a, a yellow brick road. If it was, there's no need for faith. There's no need to be determined. There's no need to be, uh, you know, be consistent. There's no need, you know, life be our pieces and cream. The only thing that separates a lot of people is they don't know how to persevere. They fear for it. They fear that, man, I got to sit right here and put all these negative thoughts aside and keep on going. I got to sit right here and hold back all these tears and keep on going. I got I to gotta wake up every single day knowing that I got all these doubtful thoughts at the back of my mind, but keep on going. And usually, this is how doubt work as well. When you start asking people, so you do something, you secretly confirm the doubt that you already had in yourself. You already lost perseverance. You just want somebody to believe in a weak mind that you already have. So, so you don't want to blame yourself to have a weak mind, so you ask people to confirm your weak mind. You got to persevere. It's okay to cry through it, but you got to you gotta make those tears count. It's okay to talk to your mama, your grandma, your daddy, whoever, about your problems, but make those conversations count. If you're going to fall, make that falling down count. Because the one thing you don't want to do is you want to fall down and look up, and the only thing you can do is feel sad about yourself. It's life. Every goal comes with consequences. So you got to understand why you're going through each stage of that consequence of what you want to go through. Because the goal going to have value. The end result is going to be the value. Whatever you want to achieve out of life is going to be the value. But you got to understand that you got to be fearless to persevere. You got to let that dog, you got to let that worry come out of you. Understand that I know my path. I know the journey. I'm going to fall down. I'm going to lose some things. I might lose people. I might, it might take six months to be where I can't do the things I enjoy doing. I might got to cut out some, some habits, but it's persevering. You know, just like my weight loss, when I lost 100 pounds, it wasn't that, oh, all right, I woke up one day like, I'm going to lose 100. I'm, I'm just going to lose some weight. Nah, I had to persevere every day. Every single day I had to persevere. I had a job, worked 10 hours, 12 hours a day, feet was hurting. I persevered through that pain because I already had the end goal in mind. See, the struggles is what made the end goal so much promising. It wasn't simple fact that I had to take it day by day and, and understand that if I take it day by day, 
I'm going to enjoy the process. No, I had to work the process. I had to understand that although I got the end goal in mind, although I got the, visual, the visualization in mind, I still had to persevere through me not feel like going, me not being motivated. Some days I just did not want to go to the gym. Some days I probably had car troubles to not be able to go to the gym. People not believing in me. People joking about what I what I was had my goal on by losing weight. Or the, the, the most common comment I got was, man, you good. You don't need to lose weight. That's perseverance. Because you don't persevere through that, you'll feed into it. Then you start selling again. Then you start being complacent. Nah, what I did with a high persevere, I had my goals every single way. I had 100 pounds. I wrote, I, I wrote I'm going to lose 100 pounds in a journal 100 times a day. That's how I was persevering. That's how I was getting through that struggle. I got tired of looking in the mirror and not liking the person I was seeing. I got, I got tired of knowing that, oh, my family battled high blood pressure. So I was going to persevere and change that. I was going to be the one to be like, nah, I don't, I don't have to deal with that. I was going to be the first in my family to be like, nah, I have no high blood pressure. My health is, is A1. But they came with a mindset of I'm going to take on all the bad to achieve the good, that's persevering, man. Like you gotta see right and understand that it's not gonna be easy. You're gonna have a lot of tough days. You're gonna, and that's gonna come from every single aspect of your life. When I was sitting right there going to the gym day in and day out, man, one day when Dallas had, I did, and I started my journey back in Dallas, man. It was it was back in 2020, the peak of COVID, right? So I got a lot of laughs back from people. People said I was crazy going to the gym. People said I was, I was gonna catch COVID. My person been through all that bull stuff. I ain't I, I didn't care too much about it because I had to I had the end goal in my mind. I knew how I was gonna look before I achieved that image. I knew how I was gonna feel before I felt it. I was so driven to, to be a better person within myself that nobody could stop me. So one day when Dallas got snowed out, right? Rose, solid froze. I'm talking about it was it, it looked like you can put on some some ice skates and and do the uh whole little little, little whole ballerina thing you see on, on TV. I still made a way to go work out. I'm talking about one day it was probably maybe 20, 21 degrees outside, maybe 19 degrees. I double jacked it up, put on two pairs of sweat, went in the backyard and worked out. Because my goal was too strong to feel sorry for myself. My goal was too strong to feed into the environment or the criticism that people had of me. Not everybody gonna see your vision. When you look at the camera, right? That camera only got one, only, only, only one person can look into that camera. Not everybody can look into that camera because only you can see that vision. When a photographer taking your picture or, or, or a videographer you know, doing your shoot, you don't see everybody looking into that one lens because everybody can't catch the same angle as you. Everybody can't capture the same vision as you. They, that photographer got a vision in mind. That's why you take your picture. It's crispy clean. Now everybody can do the same thing. You got to have that same single lens and understand that I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to take, take a rough draft picture, but I'm going to make it crispy clean. I'm going to worry about the edges. I'm going to persevere through every heartbreak, every failure, every, every time somebody didn't, didn't doubt in me, every time somebody didn't believe in me. That's, that's all in the pool of perseverance. You got to take that in. If you want to see the good, you got to take it in the bad. It's just like it, it, it goes hands in hand, right? It's just like if you want, if you want sweet tea, sometimes you got to see what unsweet tea tastes like too. So you're gonna, so, so, so you can inhale that bitterness. So you know, so now you know what's not that good to make it good. Because before the tea is sweet, the tea is not the tea is the tea is unsweet first. But you gotta add that reason of perseverance. To make the tea sweet, you gotta add that sugar in there. Cause at first it didn't start out sweet. So your goal is not gonna start out sweet. Where, where you wanna be at in life is not gonna start out sweet. How you wanna take, how you wanna travel throughout your journey, throughout life, not gonna start out sweet. If you start a fitness journey to lose to lose 50, even 50 pounds, you think that's gonna start out sweet? No. The very first day you're gonna have a perseverance. The first thing is your, your habits, your appetite. Your mind wanna draw you back to eating old things. Your mind wanna draw you back doing the old ways. You know, your mind wanna draw you back to have, maybe having su Sunday fun day like you normally do. You gotta persevere through the old habits to create new habits. You gotta persevere through understanding that, that, that there's a greater role on why you're on that journey. 
Sometimes we don't understand why we got to go through the course, the, the course of life to achieve certain goals because we're so tired of within ourselves. And if you got a chip on your shoulder, that person's been going to knock it right off because when life hits you hard, it's, it's, it's going to knock you down sometimes. That's part of the game. It's part of the game. It's not going to be nice and it's not going to be all good to you at times. You're going to feel like you need to give up. You're going to feel like you want to quit. You're going to feel like you need throwing the towel. You're going to feel like you want to be sheltered in from everybody, not talk to nobody. You're going to feel depressed. You're going to feel suicidal. It's part of the game. But you got to persevere through all that stuff because if you persevere through it, you're going to see why you, why you have to go through it. If you persevere through it, you're able to tell your testimony. If you persevere through it, you're able to help somebody else to go through the same thing you're going through. If you persevere through it, it's going to make everything worth that you ever went through. But it's hard, and it's going to be hard, and it's going to take time. It's going to be time to where you might cry more than you smile. You got to find a way to be perseverance in the race you in at that time frame. People going to tell you, you know, what they did to get through it. You know, people going to tell you what they did and how they got through it. But you pick your cherries from that tree, but you can't take the whole tree sometimes because they battle wasn't your battle. They race wasn't your race. You got a whole different lane. So take that cherry, but understand that you still got to persevere, you know, even if you fall through a hole within that race. You might got to maybe, maybe five different hurdles you got to jump over. You got to maybe, it may be 10 different people got on the board. Some of the people may be your family members. Some of the people may be your ace boom, your ace boom coon since day one. How are you going to persevere through that? You just got to find a way to get through life and achieve those goals. If you want to be a millionaire, I, I guarantee you that perseverance to get there. Because if, if it was easy, if every goal you got was easy, you're using the bruise it. And, you, and it, it'll, it'll be gone just as soon as you got it. Because perseverance brings that value. Anything you work hard for brought in value. Just like you have your parents ever gave you something when you were a kid. Just like this. You ever see kids, they get the newest, the newest shoes, the cleanest shoes. They go to school one day, man, those shoes about jacked up. Sue string, look like a dog that chewed on it. The bottom of the shoe like it's coming off because they, as a, as, as a child, you have to work for that. But now as an adult, take them same pair of shoes, you take the same amount of money you have to work hard for, uh, man, those shoes are going to be clean for maybe two years. If somebody step on them wrong, you're going to look at them crazy because the value of two different situations changed. One of them was given to you. The other one, you had to work hard for it. So anything you work hard for, it's going to have value. That's why perseverance is so critical in order you to achieve your goals because the perseverance is going to bring that value that you need to be great. So when you start thinking about those times, you want to give up, you start questioning yourself, like, is this for me? You start feeding into what people are thinking of you. You know, you find yourself crying more than you smiling at days. And you really feel like you might, it might be time to be throwing that towel on that dream that you've been having on you. First thing I do want to say is, like, if you got a dream, it's a reason why. If you find yourself just riding around and that same vision keep rolling up on your mind or that same dream been on your heart since, since you was a child or the last two, year, two years or one year or the last six months, the vision been in your mind for a reason. All because you started it don't mean it was going to be easy. And I just want to tell you, you probably just got to persevere through what you're going through right now. Because if, if you if you don't persevere, you might just miss it. And I hate for anybody to miss their blessing. It is hard. Like I, I told you my story, I was a child. I lost my dad four days before my 14th birthday. I could have done anything at that time frame. The hospital kicked me out because they ain't know how to handle my temper potential. I could have done anything. I stayed in the house with 15 people. You feel me? I had a shot to fight for bed every night. I could have easily turn to anything at that time frame. I went to college. It took me maybe five, five so years to graduate. It was hard. But I found a way to win. Losing weight. I lost 100 pounds. It wasn't easy, but I found a way to persevere and win. I just told you what happened to me. Not, not too long ago, whole, like whole thing, my life flashed for my eyes. I could easily be looking, look, look, I could look at you, this camera, right now and be like, man, I, I could be done. I could throw in the towel, you know, forget everything and be like, why me? I, I could have that why me mindset. It's you for a reason. 
only you can go through the, only you can go through that struggle. And God want he God cheer for you. Everybody, you got people cheering for you, but that cheer is gonna be in doubt if you're not cheering for yourself. If you had the mindset, be like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take this on, I'm gonna win this, I'm gonna continue to be great, I'm gonna continue to keep on going, regardless of what I go through, then you can see it. But if you can't see it, you can't beat it. So everything going through is for a reason. Your stories has gotta be told. You still writing your chapters. Your book ain't done yet. Can't worry about the conclusion if you can't even get through the intro. So one thing I say is keep on fighting. Understand that perseverance is gonna add value whatever you're going through right now. That open up a, a, a business. Is that chasing your dreams? Is that you know getting into relationship? Is that you know wh whatever it is in your life? Just persevere, stay consistent, and understand that it's the reason why God put you on that path. All right, be superior. All right, this last thing I gotta say. And one thing I say, this is why on my shirt I got right now, I got small quotes on here. I got don't quit. I got to keep on going. Nelson Mandela quote, you know, paying for the promise. Because the reason why, because even if I'm going through something throughout my day, if I, if I just can look down and see a small quote like that, it's going to add value to my perseverance. All right, it's your boy Anthony Quarles. Peace out.